This walking pad is unique from every other walking pad in a lot of different ways that are all really good. If you are getting a walking pad to force yourself to get into better shape or to get good exercise, this is probably the best walking pad to do that for a bunch of different reasons. Now this was sent to me so I could test it out and make this video. I've tried a bunch of different walking pads. I've done a bunch of different research on walking pads. And what I like so much about this walking pad is not only is it on an incline, but it's on a forced incline. You can't have it go level. It is always on an incline and it's always at a really steep incline. What this means for you is you are forced to get a much better workout than you would on any other walking pad that's level. Another thing you might notice about this is that it is shorter than most other walking pads. This could be a good thing or a bad thing for you. For me, it's a good thing. For one, it means it can have that higher incline, but the other nice thing about it is I can actually put this behind my standing desk because because it's so short. Other walking pads are too long so they don't work but this one absolutely does. Another unique thing about this is it has lights on the side. That's not important in any way but it looks kind of cool. The material for this belt is a different material from any other walking pad I've used. Most belts I've seen have kind of that hard belt. This is more of a rubbery belt. It's really nice, really great for gripping your shoes which is especially useful because you do have that higher incline. It comes with a pretty basic remote that allows you to play and stop and increase or decrease the speed. The display on this treadmill cycles through your speed, how far you've gone, how long you've been walking, and calories burned. It comes with a tool to adjust the belt if you need to adjust it and some oil that you can put under it to help it have less friction. This has a max weight of about 300 pounds. Now one important thing I do want to point out is because it's at such an incline, sometimes when you walk on it, it will move a little bit. You can see I can actually move it a little bit. Part of that is just my weight and part of that is the incline but for me this is both a good and a bad thing. On the negative end if you're going at really low speeds I've noticed sometimes when you step down because of your weight and momentum it will push it a little bit faster than it's supposed to be going so it feels kind of like a hiccup as you're moving. Now I've never noticed that at any normal walking speed I've only seen that on the really slow speeds but it's something to be aware of especially if you do want to go really slow. On the positive end of that what I found with this walking pad is I can actually unplug the power, put this right in front of my pull-up bars, and because I can push off with this, I can actually run as fast as I want on this. So if I want to get a really good high-intensity workout, I can actually do that on this walking pad. To be fair, I've never actually tried it on another walking pad, but I don't think it would work quite as well as it would on this, and especially with the incline on this, you get a really, really good workout doing this. Now I should say I have done that a lot, and it doesn't seem to have any negative impact on the treadmill, but I don't think it's really advertised to do that, so just take that with a grain of salt. This does have wheels underneath, so if you're on a hard floor, it's easy to move around, and because of its size, there's a lot of different places you can put it out of the way. It does seem a little bit more awkward to pick up and put away compared to other treadmills I've tried, but it's not too bad. Let me go ahead and show you how this works. You just press the play button. It gives you a five second countdown before it will turn on. It turns on at the lowest speed, which is about 0.6 miles an hour about half a mile an hour and you can see at this speed when I walk I'm kind of trying to walk faster than it's going so I do kind of that stutter step but if we go up to a normal speed so right now I am one and a half miles per hour so it walks totally normal the only thing I notice is yes I'm at an incline so I feel it so much more than a normal treadmill let's go up to four miles an hour that's the max speed that is a very brisk or fast walk and you can see it's fast enough I kind of have to jog or I'll fall off it and I don't want to do that and you can probably hear me breathing much harder at this point because yes this incline it definitely makes a difference this is a good workout all right and if you just press the stop button it will go all the way down and stop so you can take a breather not that you would ever need a breather on a walking pad but sometimes you do on this seriously though if you are trying to force yourself to get into shape and you want something that's a good workout you can hear me breathing obviously i'm out of shape but on any other walking pad i would not be breathing this hard this thing is amazing it gives you a good workout i highly recommend it